Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make your paper line sculpture. You're going to need some strips of paper, either colored or regular, and just a regular uncut piece of paper. I'm going to show you three different types of lines that you can make. The first one is a spiral. You're just going to take a pencil or a pen and twist your piece of paper around it over and over and over again until you reach the end. Once you pull it off and open it up, it should look like this, a spiral. Next, we're going to make a zigzag line, so you're going to fold it back and forth and back and forth like an accordion. So I'm folding forward, backward, forward, and backward. It's okay if the folds don't match up evenly, your zigzag will still turn out just fine. It should look like this. And the next one is an arch, so you're just going to bend it like that. I'm going to start making my paper sculpture. You're going to get this handout, and you need to pick five things about you. The first one that I'm going to pick is that I have two brothers, so I need to make an orange arch, because it says orange arch for each brother. So since I have two brothers, I'm going to take two orange strips of paper, and we need to make a foot for our paper so it can stick on our surface. And then I would bend it like that and stick it on where I want it on the surface. To make our paper stick, we're going to put some glue, either stick or liquid bottle glue, put it on each foot. Bend our paper so it's an arch and stick it on there. You're going to want to hold down those feet for about 15 seconds to make sure that your paper sticks. This is what mine looks like so far. And then I need to make a second orange arch for my second brother, so I'm making those feet again. And you only have to do this for the arches. So I'm going to show you a neat thing you could try is to stack your strips on top of each other like this. So I'm putting one foot on top of the arch and one foot on the paper. Again, gluing those feet. I'm going to stick the foot on the arch, stick it on the paper, and then hold for 15 seconds again. Hold, hold, hold. And there we go. Next, I think I'm going to choose, well, I have flown in a plane before, and that is a yellow zigzag. So I'm going to take my yellow strip and fold it like an accordion. I mentioned this on the Google site, but if you don't have colored construction paper, you can always just cut a plain white piece of paper into strips and then color them in yellow, orange, the colors that you need. I'm going to fold it. Yep, once I've got it, I'm going to stick it on my paper once again. This is what mine looks like, excuse me, from some different angles. Next, I'm going to choose, well, of course I love art, so I am going to make a blue spiral. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit so I can see it, and then again stick it where I want it. Next, I'm going to choose that I love ice cream, so I need a blue arch.
Then for my fifth and final one, let's see. I'm gonna pick this bottom one. My first name has an E in it. My first name is Sophie. It has an E, so I'm gonna make a green spiral. Remember, you need at least five different things. I'm going to show you what my sculpture looks here. Here is a 360 view of my sculpture. This would also be an example of abstract art because we don't know what it is. We got lines, we got abstract. We'll have lots of fun, boys and girls.